Is that a skull? Wait. I just almost walked past it. Hey, Brad, Brad. I heard somebody. Hello? This would be the perfect place for somebody to harm somebody. Oh, for sure. Because it's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, like, look at this little thing. I think they would put holy water in there or something. Oh, maybe, yeah. That is weird. Oh, what the hell? What does that say? It says chosen. chosen. Uh... Hi? Can I help you? What is this deal? Okay, he just like motioned towards me. Where the hell is he going? Okay. Okay. Nope. Nope. Never let anyone know a relationship is anything but perfect. Always smile when you're with Paul. What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Randonautica adventure. Uh, so I haven't done this for a couple of days, been working on some other stuff, and uh, yeah. Actually ended up filming a really, really great podcast with my friend. You guys are going to see that on the channel, The Brave Podcast. If you want to see it, check it out. Um, he actually... It's kind of a long story, but you guys will see that very, very soon. Anyways, for those of you that don't know what Randonautica is, it is this crazy app that takes you on nutso adventures you find some weird stuff strange things sometimes and uh yeah it's a lot of fun uh can also be kind of scary anyways it uses sort of like a quantum physics you use an intent and it brings you to a point on your map and sometimes there are things actually related to your intent and i'm like switching uh hands here but uh basically we're using one from i think it was retro tomato I kind of mix up the screen. It's from Retro Tomato, wanted us to go with Untold Story. Um, so for the foreseeable future, I will probably be here in Canada doing these, at least for the next couple of weeks, just because, you know, Christmas is coming up, New Year's. Um, hope you guys all have a fantastic, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever it is that you celebrate, uh, as well as a fantastic New Year. Definitely looking forward to 2024. Let's just forget 2023 at this point and leave it all behind. Uh, my point is telling me it is on this trail somewhere. So we're going to head down there and uh, see what we find. Also, I forgot to mention, I am alone. Um, but tomorrow night, I'm actually going to be meeting up with my good friend Brad. And uh, we'll be filming together as well. In the meanwhile, I had nothing else to do. So I just kind of wanted to gather up some content for you. And uh, that's why we're here. Again, smash like button. Let's get the party started. All right. So uh, tonight is one freaking chilly night, to say the very least. <laughs> I got to love good old Canadian weather. So, um, I was actually looking, yeah, this is, this is a spot that I've been to before, oh wow. So, we're starting out here in, uh, Halton Hills area, and for some reason this thing just literally brought me back to a spot that I've definitely been to before. Um, looks like my point is pretty far down. But let's head in there and uh, see what's supposed to be here. Something related to an untold story. Don't know what that is, but <laughs> it's kind of why we're here. What the hell? It's like something on the tree stump here. What is that? It's like a tin of some sort. Um, okay. <laughs> What the hell? That's weird. Literally just a random tin. Oh, gonna try and open this with only one hand. And that's gonna be kind of hard to do because I got the big jalopy can. Oh, there we go. What the hell? What is that? Is it like a glove? I don't know about you guys, but it literally looks like a glove. Nope, that is a Clifford? Is that you, Clifford? What the hell happened to you? Okay. <laughs> what is that? At first I thought it was like a little like baby sock or something. Okay, that's kind of weird. Uh Somebody literally killed Clifford and put him in the middle of the forest in a tin thingy. That's kind of... What the hell was that? 
just heard something. Hello? Somebody's like out there or that's kind of weird. Heard something. Thought I heard something over here too. Oh, what the f Uh... Hi? Can I help you? What the f Um... Okay, that's... Creepy. Who, wh what are you doing? Why, why are you just standing there? Okay, this is getting really weird. Uh, hello? Okay, okay. Why is he just standing there? Yeah, I don't know what your problem is, but... What is this deal? Okay, he just like motioned towards me. Where the hell is he going? Okay, are you kidding me right now? Sorry for all the swearing guys, but like... Can I see him in the camera? Well, he's leaving. Okay, that was, that was weird. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna avoid going in that direction. I don't know what to make of that, but let's just hope they f left. What the hell was that all about? Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know who the hell that guy was and why he was just standing there. It's like he was watching me. I'm gonna just continue on. Um, I think he's gone at this point because that was just weird. Uh, all right. Um, well, so far we found a weird, like, plushy thingy. A dude standing out here. I don't know what the deal is with that. Uh, That was weird. I don't know what to make of that. Alright, Halton Hills, what is your uh, deal with the, the weirdos? Oh, what the hell? What the heck? Is that a skull? It looks multicolored. Oh, it's got like a random question mark on it. What the f is that supposed to be? There's like, oh, dropped my smokes. That is so weird, but there's like tape on it for some odd reason. Just gonna grab those, zip up my pocket so nothing falls out. Um, okay. So now we got, I don't know what the hell's going on out here. this is it looks like a there's definitely something on it oh, I thought I heard something. What the hell it's like some lights out there probably a house or something there are like houses on one side of this um, okay I'm trying to like open this up with uh, just the 
hand I have available. I'm kind of scared to put this down because there's like mud everywhere. So uh, this is kind of complex because we only got one free hand. I do apologize, guys, but yeah. <laughs> I cannot seem to open this up. Uh, whatever, you know what? I'm gonna hang on to this. Uh, no idea what the hell it is, but we'll hang on to that and uh, see what that is later on. Cause that's kind of creepy, but okay. Well, let's just hope that dude is completely gone. Cause what the? F okay, no, I think that's just a treat. No, 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 no. Oh, you again. What the f Okay. Okay. Nope. Nope. What's this guy's problem? Oh, he's coming. Okay. That's creepy. Oh. Yo, what is this dude's problem? Yo, stay, stay. Nope. I think it might be gone. What the sh Are you kidding me right now? What the okay. I think he's gone. Holy crap. Gotta switch hands. something move down there. I don't know if that was him or not. Okay. Let's just, uh, let's just be cautious. Cause that was weird. Uh, what the hell? What is this dude's problem? to the freaking point yet. What the hell is that? Random tissues. Okay. Okay, this just got a little f weird. Um, holy crap. I don't know where the hell the guy went though. That's the weird part. Okay, that's uh, a bit strange. but definitely creep me the f out that is a hundred percent what the f I don't know if this 
this guy's like hiding behind these drum things. I got a knife. Damn. Dude, it is way too cold for this. Like, of all nights. Okay, let's just get the f here. Alright guys, so uh, I decided to continue on here the following day. Um, last night was crazy, crazy intense. I don't know what the hell that dude's problem was, but he kept following me, would not leave me alone. So I'm like, you know what? Things got a little out of hand and I'm not going to continue by myself. Um, hence why I'm here with Brad going on guys hi brad welcome welcome <laughs> back um <laughs> it's been a little bit since we filmed but uh yeah we're out here uh decided to run a couple of intents first one decided to go with wtf is going on here <laughs> <laughs> that was literally my intent so uh not too far from home did about a half an hour of driving decided to stop kind of in the middle of nowhere and it's decided to take me into kind of like the suburbs but it looks like there's a forested area back there which is where our uh point on the map is supposed to be where we're going to find out the uh wtf is going on here part of this intent hopefully um because yeah i don't know wtf is going on here <laughs> so anyways go and uh check out brad's channel he does a lot of random nautica stuff as well um and we'd appreciate your support there as well and um yeah go subscribe to him and uh you ready to go yeah i guess button. yeah so i guess we'll go to my point first um and then from there i guess we'll run your point and yeah see what the heck happens Sweet. all righty let's do this i love these paved paths yeah i love paved <laughs> paths um but definitely watch out for potholes oh. Oh, it's not completely frozen. <laughs> not yeah. yet, anyway. Um, okay, let's watch out for those. Yeah, we have uh, we have hit we have hit the point of no return, where um, <laughs> we've hit almost peak Canadian winter. Not quite yeah. yet. So we got some snow down here the other day. Did you get some snow? I'm, I'm finding it so back and forth. Yeah. So we were out. It was just like this. Yeah. It was cool. But hey, then you all said of you sudden, got like destroyed last full night, blown right? Snowstorm. Yeah. Damn. I was like, this is brutal. Yeah. I well, don't even know what to do. Yeah. Last night I was just filming the podcast, and uh, yeah, I'm just like, you know what? I ain't going out tonight. We actually ended up at the casino. I oh really? I lost twenty dollars. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It was a pretty sad night, but whatever. <laughs> we had fun. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta have a boys' night. <laughs> uh, okay, looks like there's a placebo. What's that shiny thing there? You see that? Yeah. Is there something like shining at us? Uh, yeah, it's like something reflecting, I think. It's like a little park there. Yup. Yeah, there's that. There's like a basketball net down there. <sighs> okay. Let's uh, check out the placebo. So our point is like all the way down there. It looks like the path just keeps going. Um, so we gotta head in that direction. But I wanna see what this reflecty thingy. Oh, you know what it is? Oh wow, we're so dumb. It's literally a sticker, I think. <laughs> but there is something. What is that? Oh yeah, there's literally just a sticker that says Halton Hills on it. Oh, that's what you spotted, eh? <laughs> that's what we were seeing. Oh. Yeah, I thought there was like something here like staring at us, like maybe the reflection of like eyeballs. Oh look! It's cool. Yeah, dragons. Cool. Oh, that's so cool. Look at this. Do you remember Scholastic back in the day? Oh my god, is yeah. that that so like in class, they'd give you this little article and then you'd order things from it and they'd bring Yeah, it. they would do like the book fair. You remember yeah, those days? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. It wow. was, it's funny because I was like obsessed with this series. I think I still have them. It was called Dragon Quest. No way. Yeah. And I bought the, <laughs> it was awesome. like a whole series. I think I was missing like maybe one book of the entire series. Oh, but, wow. Yeah. It's kind of funny because it's literally dragons. I was a huge Goosebumps fan. Oh, somebody wrote something. What the hell? Josh204. Four. Is it a six? An A and a J and a what the heck is going on here? And we just got dragons. 
Doesn't look like anything too crazy. You look creepy, eh? Yeah. Holy, oh. what the heck? It's like a dragon that? chicken. <laughs> yeah. Dude and a dragon fighting a horse, I guess. Wow. I don't even know. <laughs> what are we looking at? It's like... Talk about random. Mysterious dragons. Alright, well, Josh, if you're looking for your book, it's here in the middle of the park. <laughs> yeah, come back and uh, retrieve your book before your mom kills you. Um, see anything else? Yeah, that is kind of interesting. So our, that's this is not our point. We did find something, but probably just coincidental. What? Oh, this yeah. thing? Oh, that looks fun. <laughs> we should uh, go for a rip there, bud. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so we got to go down there, it looks like. It feels like I've been here before. I just can't remember when. This is the first time for me. Yeah, I've been in this area. I know I've done Randonautica here before, had some success, so I figured might as well try it again. Creepy. Oh yeah, we got a bench. Yeah, I've definitely been here before. I remember this. It's been a while. Yep. It's cool they're like installing these things. Pretty smart. Yeah. That's cool. yeah. Alright, looks like uh, I think we gotta keep going this way. Oddly enough, um, when we parked, so we actually parked like down in those suburbs down there. Did you notice those people? So we were just parked there because I'm like just finishing my coffee because we stopped at Tim Hortons obviously before we came here because you know that's just what Canadian people do. <laughs> and yeah. we're sitting in the car and I noticed there was like three people. They turned into the catwalk really quick. They came in for like, I don't know, a minute, minute and a half and then all of a sudden just turned back out. That's like, where oh. that's where I find things so suspicious. Right. We've been seeing right. this a lot, and it's almost like they're spying on us. Oh, we know they're there, and then they it's take so off. It's so weird, yeah. Like, yeah. it doesn't make any sense. Like, we had the car the other day, the one light car. Yeah. <laughs> Those people at that other place we were at. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Very suspicious. Definitely very suspicious. And now we're here. One trail there. So it looks like we gotta go down all the way down there. Um, what? What is it? somebody hello I'm like really on edge after that whole scenario yesterday I thought I heard something down there well we're supposed to go down there um, but what the hell do you have there I don't know, it's fun to lay on the ground I thought it was just like part of the trail or like some sort of plaque but then I was like, like okay a, check it out like a lion yeah I think oh what the hell? the hell's that I don't know some sort of math thing. Yeah, that's weird. I don't even know what it says at the top. Caught M? Caught M. What the hell is that supposed to mean? 2 plus 2 does not equal 4. Is that what that's supposed to mean? Yeah, that's weird. I've never that seen is, that before. Yeah, that is really weird. Um, 2 
2 plus 2 equals 5. Uh, and then it says something that oh, looked like yeah. it looks like believe. It looked like believe, but I don't I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's weird. weird no? Okay, so we got a lion. Should I leave this here? You want to take? I it don't want evidence? that. I don't know what the hell. <laughs> yeah, that is. I don't know what it is. Somebody just wrote some weird thing down there and left it for some odd reason. We'll just uh, carry on. <laughs> you know turn my light up a little bit here okay let's just be cautious because I did hear something which tree <laughs> oh, this one oh yeah oh, wow God, that's it's crazy like when the winter comes and all the leaves die and you just see all these like crazy trees everywhere So, like I said, I heard somebody down here. I'm not sure what the hell that was all about. Anybody here? I don't see anything. Damn, there's so many like trails and ways to go. But it it looked like it would have been right around here was supposed to be the point. You see anything? So right, right this area here? I guess so, yeah. Take yeah, take a look around, see if you see anything that kind of is out of the ordinary, I suppose. I don't really know. Oh, what is it? Just garbage? Yeah, I think it's oh. garbage. Oh, yeah, well, dude. you can always rely on that. <laughs> yeah, it's I really thought that was something, though. Mm, yeah, it's literally just trash. Okay, well... I don't know whether to call this a dud. I mean, we found something at the bridge, which was just really, really weird. No idea what the hell that even means, really. That's what I've been telling uh, people, too, is that sometimes they're not... You'll find things, mm -hmm. and they're really not in the radius you're looking. Yeah, yeah. So it's hard to tell if that's really something, because, I mean, we have a lot of people that litter in Canada. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just... Uh, it happens Perfect. everywhere. It's not just Canada, really. Yeah. Um, I guess we can go like a little further down, maybe this way. It's a little uh, nippy out tonight. Not too bad, though. Yeah, I can imagine. I went outside for like two seconds. I'm like, screw this. <laughs> I'd rather go back inside. But I put those little hand warmer things in my gloves, and they're doing a pretty good job. Yeah. I'm going to test out my other warmer gloves after. All right, well, I'm not really seeing anything, so, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to, what to say. Looks almost like a path, but not quite. Whew. Oh, it's like a little boardwalk or something. Wait, wait. Did you hear that? I heard something. I don't know. It sounded like somebody spoke. Which is totally creepy because I didn't see any cars parked. Yeah. Yeah, we saw those people, they came in and then they just left. Yeah. As far as we could tell, anyways. Unless one of them stayed behind? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Anybody here? Anybody want to say hello? Okay, well that's weird. I mean, it sounded like somebody spoke, but there's literally no one here. Yeah, that's odd. Yeah. Alright, um, well I guess what do you say we do your point, and then okay. uh, head to yours, and I guess see what else we might find? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, ran the next intent. This one is from Tiffany Peacock. Suggested hidden treasure. Looks like it's actually taking us further up the trail. Um, we actually just ran one of Brad's points and found one of like the weirdest things ever. Um, but that's going to be in his video. So go and check that out if you guys want to. Um, apart from that, I guess we'll head over to my point and see if there's anything there. Yeah.
All right, let's uh, continue on with this adventure. Another boardwalk here. There's a lot of boardwalks in this area. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, because it's like all marshland, so I guess they just had to build a bunch of boardwalks. <laughs> uh, so, looks like there's a main road down there. We're up there, rather, because we're like in a valley right now. Rusty light. There we go. Can see a little better. This looks creepy. Yeah, this is very creepy. Yeah, definitely a road up there. All these dead trees. R.I.P. trees. It was nice seeing you for a little bit. I saw something move out there. You see that? Yeah. It looked like something, like someone was there for a second and then just like moved in. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, we think this place might actually be haunted because oh, we found what boy. looks like a memorial. Yeah. Um, you'll see it on Brad's video. And then all of a sudden his light just randomly turns off and we're like what is going on I out here hate when that crack happens. right oh my God. freaks you out yeah, <laughs> uh, okay and then down there now we just saw what looked like somebody moving i don't know oh what the hell it's like a a book it looks like Love, honor, obey? What the hell? Never let anyone know our relationship is anything but perfect. Always smile when you're with Paul. Be a perfect girlfriend for Paul. Remember you're stupid. Remember you're ugly. Remember you're fat. From Carla Mocha's self-improvement. Oh, shit. What the heck? Oh, crap. Yo. Oh, man. That's intense. Yo, you know who Paul Bernardo. Paul Bernardo is, right? Yeah. And it's really weird because this is not the first time I found stuff about them. Um, if you guys are not familiar, they're like one of the most notorious murder couples, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, in Canada, they killed a lot of people, hurt a lot of people, and uh, she got out. So he's still there. What is this even doing here? Was somebody just like Somebody's reading the book? Some dark reading, yeah. yeah. Did you hear that this guy got moved into, uh, I think it's a medium, medium security, security, security now, right? Yeah. yeah. And he's um, literally scum. They called him the Scarborough Rapist. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm uh, all too familiar with that stuff. Okay. Well, the point was further up. the hell? <laughs> it's probably like a truck or something. Yeah. What is that? There's like something shiny on the ground there. You see that? Wait, did you just... I heard something down there. Like screaming, right? Hello? Wait, wait, wait. We saw someone move. Side, yeah, it looked like they were probably in here. I mean, it looks like there's a trail, kind of. Okay. You got uh, some of these, like, safety vests or something. Ooh, it's pretty gnarly. Uh, okay. Hello? Oh, this just got really creepy really fast. Oh, what is that? 
Looks like some purple thing. What in the heck is that? What the hell? It's like some random doll and it says Cuba. That's so weird. I thought that, that was weird. An oh, what the hell? Building. Dude, it's like. It's two! <laughs> <laughs> it is. <yeah. laughs> what? Yeah, it's literally two different things. That is so strange. Do you hear that? It sounds like music. What is going on? I'm not the only. Yeah, we're both hearing the same thing, right? Yeah, like I'm telling you, if this is not paranormal, I don't know what this is. Like, I, this I have is no so idea. Eerie right now. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. I saw that like reflecting thing on the ground, and it's just that stupid guy. <gasps> oh yeah. <laughs> okay. If this is a legit person back here, though, I think. I we don't. Look for them. Maybe I yeah. Like I mean, we heard somebody. Or... Yeah, we heard somebody scream. Now we heard music. There's a random like orange marker back here. Is that a marker or like a bit of clothing? No, it looks like a marker. It's really old. What the I don't know is what that sewer? is. Like, look at this. I know, it's so random. How the heck is Just this? Just like a random sewer. It's out in the middle of nowhere. We're in the middle of the forest right now. Um. Okay, so it doesn't look like it really goes anywhere. Yeah, I think this is it. Though. Yeah, I think again, I think they're just like marking maybe where the gas lines are or something. Yeah. Actually, no, we can go further in this way. Whatever we were hearing, it sounded like it was coming from here. Yeah. Only thing is, I don't see anything or anyone. Wait, I just heard something move back here. Hear that? Yeah, like it's, there's somebody back here. I just hope that nobody's hurt. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Let's listen. Hello? It's pretty dense back here. All right, somebody back here? I heard someone scream. Okay, well now it looks like we're just going off into the woods. Uh, <laughs> getting pretty muddy over here too. Just watch your step, don't slip. Yep. Yeah, it looks like it just keeps going. Uh, I don't know what to do. Dude, there's, they're literally, yeah, there literally should not be anyone back here. It looks like somebody walked through though, look. Like yep. the way the ground's all like that. So someone just came through here? I start to wonder if people just make sure I was around. Yeah, I'm sure people do, but like, why? We have no idea if people make trails of their own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, well, um, I don't know if we keep going or turn around. And the worst part is it's like, this would be the perfect place for somebody to harm somebody. Oh, for sure. Because it's in the middle of nowhere. Who's going to yeah. trek through this then? You wouldn't see, you wouldn't, I mean, you'd hear. We've obviously heard, but we're not seeing anything or anyone here. Very, very strange. But I know we heard that music. I know I heard it, 100%. I heard it. That was scary. It's almost like classical music. Not really my taste, but... I don't know. Alright, I guess we could just like... Because yeah, this is it, no? I just guess? Stop. I mean, yeah. we could literally keep just picking a direction, but we'll probably get lost out here. Yeah. At the end of the day. It's not like, worth it's, it. uh... 
it doesn't really make much sense for us to keep going when we don't even know where we're going or what we're even looking for at this point. Exactly. I mean, we were looking for hidden treasure. We found that little doll thingy. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to the casino. We're rich. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Find some hidden treasure. Whoop. Almost slipped on the mud. Wait, Brad. I heard something behind me. Brad kept going, but I know I heard something. Yeah, there's something out there. Hello? I heard something. I don't know, man. All right, let's just go back to the trail, double check, make sure we got to the right spot. It looked like the point was roughly around where we kind of almost turned, actually. I guess. I don't really know. I'll double check just in case. The scariest thing happened to me the last what? one I filmed, so... I, uh, I actually lost reception. You lost reception? Like, yeah, like the GPS. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm thinking like, oh yeah, here we are. We're at the point. I'm like, I'm in the middle of this swamp in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. And I'm like, this isn't right. Like, this isn't good. I go all the way back. And yeah. then all of a sudden it, it, works it calculates. Again? And then, it, yeah, I'm like, oh, that wasn't the point. Like, what the hell is this? Yeah. I'm so scared. When you're on foot, sometimes it's not accurate. That's the issue. Yeah, it can, I was it can literally change. in the middle of nowhere. I'm like, if this thing doesn't reset, I'm not going to be able to get my, get my way back home. Hmm. So. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with this thing. That yeah, thing is kind of creepy. It almost kind of looks like a like some sort of weird voodoo doll. Yeah. Um, I'm not familiar if like Cuba does voodoo. I should definitely look it up. I don't know. But yeah, that's kind of a weird mm -hmm. thing to find. There's nothing else though. That's pretty much it. Um, let's get back on that trail over there and then I'll uh, double check my point, but yeah, that's that's creepy. Alright guys, so uh, we are doing something uh, interesting, which is randonautica. Wait, we've been doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing around. Anyways, so weird thing just happened. Um, we showed up to an area, ran two different intents, oddly enough, we both got the exact same point, but they're two different intents. Mine was missing persons. What was yours, Brad? Mine was haunted forest. Haunted forest? Yeah. Okay. And it brings us to another forest. We're still kind of like in the same area, but we're on like a different side now. So I don't know. I guess we'll go there and see what's there. Check it out. Whoa, okay. It's funny. I kind of feel like an intent hog today. I just decided to go with one of my own again because I'm... Yeah. That forest is really, really creepy. So I was like, man, like, like, uh, what if we find more supernatural stuff? So right. Thought, like, you never let's know. Just roll with it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, looks like we got to go down there, and then veer to the right. So, see, ready? Let's do it. All right. Let's go. <sighs> kind of my favorite way of exploring now. What? Just the way we've been doing it, exactly this way. Yeah. Because we find. Feel free to go first, because I'll 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 just offer you a sacrifice to whatever might be down there. Since you decided <laughs> to go with haunted forest, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. <sighs> Ooh. At least it's not as cold as the other night, damn. That was chilly. Huh? Ooh. That's a, an airplane. Oh. Which is literally right there. <laughs> <laughs> I've just never heard that whoosh sound before. Yeah, That's it's like new. the re reverse boosters or something, I don't know. I guess they're trying to slow the plane down. Getting ready for landing or something? Well, so far it looks like we got a sign. That's interesting. Looks like there's another path here too. 
But it looked like we had to go this way though, all the way to the right. What is that thing? You see that? Yeah, I see that too. What is that? Looks like a little house. Is it a birdhouse? I don't know. It looks like a birdhouse. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Where's right this here. go? I don't know where that goes. Where's my light? I don't know what's down there. What is down there? Just a big ass tree. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. That's all I see down there. Okay, well we got a big treehouse looking thing. What the heck is this? What the hell? It's like a little cowboy or something. Garden gnome? <laughs> I, I'm not sure actually. I don't think it's a garden gnome. I think it's like a cowboy version of Santa. Right? Oh, that's different, eh? It looks like Santa. I probably am completely wrong, but... Ooh. Got like a silver beard. Yeah, he's got cowboy beads. I don't know what he's doing out here, but that's some weird stuff sometimes in the forest. <sighs> there was one place I went to once. It was like a fairy forest or something. I found fairy out afterwards. Forest. Yeah, they build like these little fairy houses, and they just kind of like put them everywhere. That's yeah, want to go check out this uh, this uh, chicken coop up there? Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, it's probably just a. Just a birdhouse. You know looks like um, they'll have like wild birds that make a nest. Yeah. It could be something for that. Oh yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, like I'm Neat. not seeing. There's no opening here. Oh, there's no opening? Well, maybe it's all on the other side. Dude, it's all closed off. What the hell? Yeah. There's <laughs> nothing on that end. No, there's like a chain along the side of it. Yeah, I see that too. Yeah. There's a chain around it. That's interesting. Maybe they take that off. <sighs> Maybe, yeah. That's odd. That's a possibility. Maybe they just like closed it for some reason. I don't know. Weird. That's what I'm going to assume it is though. It's for like maybe like there's a bird that like, nest or something. Probably. Well, so far we have Mr. Garden Gnome, uh, <laughs> aka Cowboy Santa, fitting because it's almost Christmas time. Yep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bye, <Cowboy Santa. laughs> well, we found those two interesting things. Are we going to find anything else? Apart from that blue tree over there? Looks like the exit to a sewer. Yeah, it's just like the exit to the uh, sewer. Yeah, there's a bunch of like water down there. Oh, yeah, I see that. It's yeah. big, interesting graffiti. Down yeah, there. it's like a cool. skull right there. We got a skull. There's something in the water there. I can see that from here. You see that? I don't know what that is. That like metal thing down yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, I see that too. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Hmm. Cool. Alright, so I think we gotta go this way. I'm assuming because I'm pretty sure this is the only way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this place constantly looks like it veers off into like different trails, so. Have you ever found that before? Like you have like the same coordinate as the other guy? That is scary. Not that close. I think this might be the first time I've ever had that happen. Yeah. yeah that's so kind we'll of just we'll take precautions. Odd, yeah. That's really weird. That is really weird. I like the flying open. Yep, we kind of see everything for the most part anyway. But we can see a little better with this bad boy. There you go. How's that? <laughs> a little bit of Olight for you guys. Shout out again. A lot of you guys ask me what uh, light I use. I use the Mini Marauder. Um, 
It's amazing. Feel free to get yourself one using code Angelo. Subtle plug. <laughs> the uh, the code is in the description below if you want to get one, along with maybe merch. It's up to you. We got some new Brave merch. Looks really awesome. Not to toot my own horn, but. Oh, it looks like we got another boardwalk. What? Oh, what the hell? Yeah, that just caught my eye. I was like, what the heck is that? It was shining. I thought it was a mirror. Yeah. Okay, what's up with this forest? Are they like decorating? Is some yeah, move, someone moving so, in? Eh? Right? Like, I don't, I don't really know. What is that, though? It's got wings. I can see. See, this is what I'm talking about. Maybe it's a fairy forest. There's something here, too. What is it? Like biblical stuff. Yeah, it oh. looks like it was stolen from a church, dude. Mother Mary. Yeah, like look at this little thing. I think they would put holy water in mm. there or something. Oh, maybe, yeah. That is weird. So we just that found this weird. right now. Oh, what the hell? What does that say? It says chosen. Chosen, chosen for what? Yeah, that's different. Dude. What's okay. really weird is this looks like it was taken taken from a church. Like I've seen something like that before. Yeah, that's weird. It's that's a little down. concerning with the whole Viserian thing. But yeah, to be honest with you, I haven't really found anything related to them in a, in quite some time now. In a while. Like, yeah, it's been a little bit. What's uh, this thing? Is that their symbol? I, I don't know what their symbol I is. I I don't think I've ever seen that before. To be honest with you. Yeah. It's almost like an exclamation mark. Yeah, it's just cross. like a cross. Yeah, yeah that's, that is, that's new to me. The other one that I used to see was like the several T's, like the big T and a bunch of smaller T's. That's what I remember. Yeah, like a certain symbol yeah. or something going on. So, like, but is what this? is uh, that? Um, that was my next question. So we just found this right now, guys, and it looks like an angel, and she's watching over two children in the valley and stuff. But look at the. Uh, the border of that. Oh, I just noticed. Yeah, that it's like looks insane, eh? It's like seashells. Yeah. So we got this now. Check and see if there's anything on the back of it. That's what we've been doing. We've been finding things. Oh, whoa, whoa! What is this? Whoa, what? What is it? <laughs> Holy mackerel! Holy crap! What the hell? There's something here. It's all signed up too. So this says, "In shadows of the pyramids, they tread ancient." beings from the stars it said whispers in the winds of time crafting tales a cosmic rhyme oh it's like a poem hmm. pyramids rising secrets unfold alien echoes and mysteries untold hieroglyphs etched in celestial ink a cosmic dance link by link sculpted stones with otherworldly Yo, i just mind. saw i just saw a light coming which way down that the way we literally just came from. Hello? Yeah, I can go see something too. Do you? Um, I saw like a flash of light. As if it was like a flashlight or something. Yeah, we'll just be careful. Yeah. Really this? this is getting a little uh, a little weird. So it says pyramids rising, secrets unfold, alien echoes and mysteries untold. Hieroglyphs etched, etched in celestial ink, cosmic dance link by link. Sculpted stones with otherworldly might, eons pass, yet their presence alights. In the tapestry of history, a cosmic thread, ancient aliens where myths are bred. Which is weird because, like, this is an angel. Like, I don't yeah. understand what they come up with the ancient aliens. Mm -hmm. Celestial architects in the cosmic theater, guiding civilizations to silent spectator. Through the ages, their stories unfar unfurl alien whispers in the ancient world. In starry palaces, they may reside, observers of Earth are cosmic guide. A dance with time, a celestial ballet, ballet, ancient aliens in the night sky, they sway. And then down here, there's this weird, I don't know what that is. Either that's a nine or an E with a dot. Mm -hmm. And then it says at the bottom, they healed me. Show me the way, showed me the way, may she guide you to Starseed. And then there's a star. Starseed. So this is more Starseed crap. Oh yeah, this you were so finding that weird. stuff like uh... I've been finding this since the very, very beginning yeah. of Rananautica, and I don't know what it means. What is the connection to the, what I assume is an angel, um, and then two little kids in a field, 
with the mountains in the background. I don't, I don't really get it. Well, what's really, really weird is like, how, how am I getting comparisons with religion extraterrestrials and then yeah. angels like and it's usually like this mm -hmm. it's almost like people they don't even know that the angel is there it's just kind of watching over them huh. yeah that is odd so we found an angel with a bunch of <laughs> alien related stuff <laughs> and then we find religious objects that say chosen yeah this makes no sense i don't know i don't understand if there's like a connection somehow yeah like i don't it even know how to sense. put a comparison to it because like it doesn't make any sense to me like yeah. biblical stuff to me doesn't have anything to do with extraterrestrials or beings and things like that I I so idea. i don't really know you dropped your uh, glove by the way oh shoot <laughs> yeah, you gotta that. bring that one. Your voice mom will kill hey, me man, gloves are expensive okay <laughs> yeah so you don't want to lose those that's like a pair is what forty dollars. So if you lose one, that's like at least twenty-two dollars. Especially the heated ones. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Are those heated? Yeah, brother. You press a button. Get the button. I don't have the battery in it right uh, now, but yeah, you hold it, and they actually so the LEDs know, hang on, come you on. Do this, right? <laughs> <laughs> Slap it. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> okay. Um. So I don't even think we've made it to our point we yet. We didn't. It's up there. Yeah. That's it's what's literally. So weird. It's like, literally further up. This. This is so weird. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. Okay, well, let's uh, continue. And uh, uh, no, nobody came down. Yeah, like saw I'm a flash of light. No one came down. I'm not feeling like we're being watched or anything like that, but at the same time, we should keep our guard up. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Another boardwalk. There we go. These seem to be in a lot of uh, Canadian forests. Yeah, there's a lot of boardwalks in this area. I mean, it's like all clearly marshland, right? So, boardwalks are essential. I love that they do it because it's just easy passage. Like, yeah. Make sure nobody's uh, creeping up on us. It's so weird. What? It's almost like somebody somebody made a trail. Uh, maybe it might have actually just been from the water. Yeah, yeah. True. Yeah, there's another one like that goes that way. It's so weird. Maybe deer, maybe water. I don't know. Yeah. Well, we should almost be just about there. Might need to check in a second. There's a long boardwalk. Yeah. Holy smokes. What the hell? I thought I saw something down there. What's down there? Yeah. Like literally like over there. I thought I saw something move. Could have just been my eyes playing tricks on me, but I don't know. Okay. So weird. Yeah. It kind it could have just been like a deer actually. Yeah, there's something on the bench. What is it? I don't know. It's like pottery or something. What's this? Maybe somebody was drinking some tea or something? <laughs> What the hell does that say? What is that? I don't even know what that yeah, says. Yeah, I know. I noticed that too. I, I can't really make out anything, but... Yeah. Yeah, I found There's, this. There's, uh, something in there. Oh, okay. Let's get that out. But look at, look at what it was... It was actually sitting on here. It's almost oh, yeah. like somebody took their lighter. It looks like candle wax almost, doesn't it? Like somebody lit a yeah, candle. Yeah, because look, it's, you know, you're right, yeah, it is candle wax. Which is kind of weird because we found like a candle earlier. I mean, like an LED one, but looked like a memorial of some somebody sort. Was doing something. There's nothing written on it, it's just some weird pottery. There's like fish in it. Maybe it's another memorial? That's what I'm wondering. I mean, we are in the same area. It could be just like, I don't know, maybe it's like some religious thing. People are just oh. putting religious items everywhere. 
I mean, then again, there's the starseed thing, right? So, I don't I, know. I will never understand the starseed stuff. It makes no sense to me. It says, oh, wait, here we go. Okay, there's nothing on the back. It oh, says, I'm alive. I can't tell you where I am for safety's sake. All I can tell you is I am safe and I'm very grateful of your help trying to expose the truth. And it's like, look, it's been ripped right off. Yeah. Somebody destroyed this. So is this supposed to be like... finding? That's it. What? I don't know. Huh. I guess we won't know unless we ever found another piece yeah. of this. No. No kidding. Okay. That is weird. That is really weird. So the creepiest thing about this though, going back to the starseed stuff. So from what we know is that this woman named Alice, she had brain cancer. Well, there goes my light. Oh, did your light go out? Yeah. Did it die? Do that thing again. No, it's completely... Are we in a haunted forest? <laughs> I don't know, we might be in a haunted forest. I got a spare one here somewhere. Okay. Um, I know you guys can't see right now very well, but... Yeah. I'm just being blinded by... Oh, sorry, buddy. Brad. <laughs> Not that it matters, because I have no lighting, right? So... Yeah. Let's put this in. It's been an ongoing thing with these lights. There you go. Yeah. Well, I have a habit sometimes I don't charge all of them, and then I have like 17 of them, so it's kind of hard to remember which ones are charged and which ones are not charged. Oh, I just realized, you know, I just found something. I forgot I even had that. So I found something the other night. I haven't even gone through it. I told you about the guy in the forest that showed yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. weird, man. There was like this paper, and I could tell there's like writing on it. I shoved it in my pocket, left, and then I completely forgot I even found that. Did so. the person try to hurt you or anything? Like no, no, just like, I don't know, they were just like watching me for some reason. The, kind of like in a threatening manner, making some weird gestures, and then... That was that's what I it. get really scared at, yeah. at place, especially in Canada, like with all the violence, like that's just disturbing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, going back to what I was saying, so this woman, she had brain cancer, um, her boyfriend we think is dead, she was trying to find him yeah. and that's all we kept finding is things but then she, like i keep getting these notes oh i'm okay i'm yeah. okay i get worried because i think somebody was trying to kill her yeah so i don't know if this is actually her or if it's just somebody trying to mess with us i don't really know I'm, I, don't but know, man. I don't know that could be anything that could be anyone like that's all we got was a ripped note yeah so. well shall we keep going yeah let's keep going i definitely want to see if we can find something Oh. What is that? Yeah, I just noticed that. Is it like a dead animal or something? Is it I dead or alive? Not, brother. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. It looks like a dead duck. It's not moving. It does look like a dead duck. What the hell? Oh, no, that's not... What? That's not a duck. <laughs> what is it? What the hell? Wait. Uh, Yo. okay, we got a problem here. Saw something like this earlier. The question is, is it the same one? Yeah. Or is it a different one? That's disturbing. Right? What's uh, inside of it? Do you see that too? There's I like don't some know. sort of It's like powder. some red dust. That's kind of. I don't know if we should be near this thing. I don't know what the hell that that's all about. I wouldn't touch it, yeah. Yo, if that's the same one... Also, there's a light back there. Oh, that might just be the road. Is it the road? Do you see that? I cannot tell for the life of me if that's the road. Or something else. I think it might just be the road, though. Okay, so... The question is, if this is the same one... Uh, we found it, what, like, maybe an hour ago in another spot in the yeah. same area. Part of this exact forested area, but now it's here. Or that it's not another one. Far from here, too. Like, that's... Yeah. What that's the hell? That's bizarre, dude. So I don't know. And if it is the same one, somebody massacred it. Yeah. That's a little bit disturbing. And did they leave it here for us? That is the question. Because now I'm worried. Well, what's creepy too, we were talking about like voodoo and stuff like that. That's, like, yeah, yeah. That is eerie. 
and not to mention that we're finding alien stuff, religious stuff, and then voodoo stuff. If it's voodoo stuff, I have no idea. Yeah. That's just, you know, our dark minds going places, of course. I've uh, got a bad feeling about this stuff. Yeah. I mean, let's just see if there's anything else up here. If not, then, then maybe we'll just turn around and go back. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see nothing. I mean, our points are like here somewhere. It has to be. Because it looked like it was before this bend over here. From what I remember on Google Maps, anyway. I don't see anything. Let's just pass the bend and then, uh, if anything, we'll just turn around. Because after finding that, I, I don't want to take any chances. So. Same. Although I feel like doing this is just taking chances in general. <laughs> Too, my first nothing yeah just the boardwalk keeps going but I don't see anything yeah there's nothing out there it's creepy as hell but all right um I think maybe we should just head back what do you say? Yeah, yeah. like I, I don't know. I just got a bad feeling. Yeah, me too. All right, let's go. Okay, so we just finished up um, back there. <laughs> that was freaking weird with that like <laughs> cut up doll thing and the angel thing. And yeah, I was like, okay, that's enough. Um, but the other night I found this. Uh, I have not looked at it yet. Honestly, I just shoved it like in my pocket on my jacket and left and forgot it was even in there until now. <laughs> then I'm like, I usually keep like a spare battery in there. I had one in there from the other night. And I'm like, oh wait, what's this? And I pulled it out and yeah, we have this. Um, okay. Um, what is it? I don't know. <laughs> it says objective. Uh, participants aim to navigate through a series of surreal challenges and reach the final destination, uncovering mysteries and anomalies along the way. Rules. Selection process. Participants are chosen randomly, much like the Randonautica app. That's disturbing. Right? Um, and receive an invitation to play Quantum Leap. Quantum Leap. Yeah. We found this stuff the other night. It was a while, a little while ago, like a week, week and a half mm -hmm. ago. Was I with you? I might have been by I myself. I think you were with me. You were talking about it. Yeah. Uh, then it says, Quantum Destinations. Each participant is provided with a set of coordinates representing quantum destinations where unusual events or challenges will occur. Which sounds familiar, mm -hmm. right? Kind of, in a way. Um... Challenges at each destination player in players encounter strange puzzles Right. Yeah, it sounds Obstacle like illusions or mind-bending challenges that test their creativity and problem-solving skills weird um, Quantum currency Okay, now we're talking participants <laughs> earn quantum credits based on their performance in challenges These credits can be used to gain advantages in later stages of the game what? Parallel realities. The game introduces the concept of parallel realities. Participants may experience alternate versions of themselves or interact with bizarre versions of reality. Quantum devices. Players receive quantum devices that assist them in navigating the challenges. These devices may have unique properties, such as revealing hidden clues or unlocking new paths. Team dynamics. Participants can form temporary alliances or compete individually. Oh, right? So weird. Yeah. So what exactly does quantum mean? Like, what exactly know. is it? I can only think of like quantum physics, which is interesting exactly, because yeah. somebody pointed it out at one point. Mm -hmm. How? What is the idea behind Randonautica? Quantum science, essentially, mm -hmm. right? The I guess you know the power of the mind, 
I think that's what it is. Sinking with I guess. I don't devices? know. I could be completely yes. wrong and just be... I'm, I'm speaking out of my ass. I don't even know what yeah, I'm talking about yeah. at this point. Um, the, the devices may have unique properties, such as revealing hidden clues or unlocking new paths. Which is interesting because we've literally found devices before, right? Like, the amount of times we've found things like, you know, cameras. Uh, you found audio recordings. Uh, videos. I found videos we found before. found a cell phone once. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, I remember we found a yeah. cell phone. It didn't work, but we found one. I found a walkie-talkie. That was kind of weird, mm -hmm. right? I mean, um, and it says time dilation zones. Some areas have time dilation properties where time behaves differently. Participants may age or de-age temporarily, adding a uni unique twist to the challenges. That's mind-boggling. Uh, cosmic obstacles, cosmic anomaly, anomalies like zero gravity zones, that sounds kind of cool, yeah. color shifting landscapes, or floating objects create a surreal environment. If this is a real thing, right? this sounds like, like the dude, craziest this game. This literally sounds like, I mean, we literally just found like stuff related to aliens. Yeah. And they were talking about this weird game that apparently has like floating objects. And then it says final quantum leap. The final destination unveils a grand challenge that requires all participants to combine their quantum credits for a collaborative effort to unlock the ultimate mystery. I don't know what the hell I just. What if read. we're already in this game? And That's what we I'm didn't saying. Know we were playing I feel it the whole like time. I feel like this entire time that we've been using Randonautica, um, like for myself over the last couple of years, it's like some sort of game. Like someone's testing us for some reason. We've been, we're always getting clues to something that we don't understand. And we're like, what the f is going on? Why yeah. is this here? Who the hell's that? And so on and so forth, right? Like we've run into weird people. Yeah. The other night I ran into some random weirdo who was like just watching me and it was as if they were observing what I was doing. That's scary. Yeah, but decided to come, you know, face to face with me. So I don't know. I don't know what to make of this, guys. You let me know down in the comments below. Um, kind of glad we were together tonight because yeah. this is just a lot sometimes. Gosh. But uh, I'm glad yeah. you were okay. Like I didn't want you to get stuck. Oh like, yeah, that yeah. is scary. Yeah, that's why I didn't see any weapons. But who knows, man? I yeah, mean, in these areas, you you literally never know. But um, yeah, we're gonna get the hell out of here and uh, smash the like button and uh, subscribe. Go and subscribe to Brad as well, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Love ya. Bye bye.